No longer can the lack of radio support or obtaining a record deal be the scapegoat for a band or artists not being able to gain national attention. So how are you going to carry it? This is today's business of music and your role in it. Okay, okay, now in this episode, what I want to get into the discussion of, what we're going to get into the discussion of this episode today is creating your internet presence. Uh, what I mean by creating your internet presence, basically building your image, branding yourself on the internet. And one of the biggest things that you all have to, first thing that you have to start off with is you have to create your website. Um, now, when I say website, I don't want y'all to get this confused, okay? Um, when I say website, I'm not talking about your social websites, your MySpace and your, and your Facebooks and, and, and your Twitters. That, that's a whole nother story. What I'm talking about is your stage. Those social websites are your audience, okay? Those who you social with. What I'm talking about is your stage. Do you have your own website? In other words, can I put in and type in www, your band's name, or your group's name, dot com. And if I don't have that, then that's one thing that uh, you're going to have to really do. And, um, and that's probably one of the most important things, because you want people to be able to find you, to be able to locate you. And there's a difference. Now, well, let, me, let me explain the difference between the difference between your website and the social websites. How can I do that? Okay, let's say for example, you're in the club, okay? You're performing at night. You're at a club or at a dance, but you're performing. And there are two areas of that club, right? There's the, the stage area where you perform at, and then there's the floor area where the crowd is, okay? Now, before you perform, you may like to mingle out with the crowd. That's your social area. That's your, that's your Facebooks and your MySpaces. In, in your Twitters and all that. That's where you go in and you ask the people, hey man, thanks for coming, check this out. Hey, look, I got this for you. Man, you, you're gonna dig all this, and then you go to the other group over there and you say, hey, boom, that's my thing right here, and you're gonna dig all this, and boom. But then, once you do that, you, you want all their attention. Because when you get to the stage, you have already invited all those social networks, all those social people that's on the floor, onto your stage. And this is where you do your performing. That's the difference between your website and the social website. So yeah, definitely create your social websites because that is supposed to be used as a tool. You use the social websites as a tool to bring to your home, your stage, your www.myband.com. Okay? <laughs> now if you don't have that, if you don't have your band registered, Log right now. Right now, log on to tmygogo.com. Look on the right side of the screen. And right under where it says Musician Resources, click that thing that says Blue Note. Or blue Host, I'm sorry. Click the joint that says Blue Host and get your, get your well, they only cost you what, $6.95? Whatever the case may be, get your, uh, get your uh, name registered. That's going to be step one. Uh, later on, we're going to go into basically how to set up that thing and, and, the, and how important your prep professional look in that presence is. And we are going to get in later on, detail by detail, exactly how you use those social websites to your advantage, okay? But in this point right here, we want to talk about creating your internet presence, building your stage on the internet, alright? <laughs> 